Okay, in hot news, BSG is dead broke, which we all already knew, and they aren't making any money at all uh, producing this game, and they need money urgently to finish this game and give us the product that we so desire. I know this. I I'm sure most people who play this game know this. I'm sure most people who stream this game know this. I'm just confused why everyone's so shocked that, that, that they, they're, they're putting their hand out for money off the player base. Uh, um, you know, it's confusing to me. Now, people are wording this like BSG is destroying their game with this choice, you know. See, the reality is, if they didn't make this choice, you know, I, Nikita himself said he didn't want to turn the game into pay-to-win or microtransactions. He said that himself on multiple occasions. The developers are constantly inventing new ways to trick people and make more money. And we personally do not want to spoil Escape from Darkman with this. That wasn't the vision he had for the game. Obviously, they have to turn in other directions when, when issues come up, like money, for example. They can't finish the game without money. Okay, but as usual, the entire Tarkov player base and the streamers instantly act extremely emotional. A very emotional player base, the Tarkov player base. I don't know what it is with the Tarkov player base, very emotional people. Extremely emotional reactions today. Um, I don't know what they expect from a game that's broke, that's not making money. You know, everyone paid for EOD seven years ago. And then they didn't have to give BSG another dollar since. It's now been seven years and 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 they're broke. Um, they they need to finish the game. It, they need more money. Um, surprise. I mean, it's not a surprise. I mean, it's it's reality. They they need more money. Now, I'm gonna begin with the extremely emotional reactions from the, uh, the streamers, who, you know, are boycotting. Uh, BSG, or so they say, uh, so, so they said yesterday and last night, but uh, we'll gauge what happened after. So, Linmark led the way with the hyper-emotional reactions from a game's update. He completely kicked BSG while they're down, uh, pretty much insinuated everyone should uninstall. The game is dead, and he's up to now his second Just Chatting stream. I would suggest he'd maybe have another just chatting stream or two left in him before he's back to Escape from Tarkov because this game made his career and made him who he is today and made him a millionaire. So I, I dare say he will be back very quickly. Uh, I'd also like to add that he began his video uh, pushing his uh, opinion that everyone should uninstall Tarkov with a... Nice, um, very juicy uh, promotion for Arena Breakout, which is a attempted carbon copy of Escape from Tarkov, down to the T. Uh, Nikita himself is known to uh, have called this company uh, plagiarists, basically thieves, because they're basically stealing Escape from Tarkov and its entire concept. Uh, it, it seems, um, Lindmark has, you know, <laughs> accepted a nice, fat, juicy check from Arena Breakout and, you know, with this update, uh, I mean, maybe that swayed his opinion a little. <laughs> Moving on. Just quickly a point I'd like to add also, I did make a video in November last year stating that it would be the streamers who would destroy Tarkov and not cheaters and not BSG, it would be the streamers themselves who would destroy the outlook of this game or push a narrative to the player base and destroy the game. Moving on. I don't want it for six months! I want it forever! I paid for it! I don't want this shit! Give me what I fucking paid for! This can't be real! And then after six months- Also, the higher priority matching time? Get the fuck out of here! You know what? I actually don't even believe they have the skill to do this as a dev team. Did you guys see with the, I can't close this. Did you guys see?
With this Rengar spent half of his stream smashing at his keyboard and uh, trying to work his computer because he was that overwhelmed with the emotions about an update in a game that's desperately trying to make money because it is nose diving into the ground and just just wants to finish the game for its player base, but it's just not able to with its current bank account that is probably in the minus right now. You know, a classic example of hyper emotional reaction from someone who just simply doesn't have to purchase this add on. Really doesn't. I mean, you could still go on and play the game and, and be just fine without purchasing this add on. But moving on. Very rarely has BSG ever done something that has united the community entirely. And I think for the first time ever, they have done something that has united the community completely against them. And Hutch chimed in saying that BSG are scammers and scumbags for needing money to finish the game we all love and enjoy. Uh, but then he then proceeded to buy the add-on and play the game and gave us this cope for his reason why when asked. I've said this before and I'll, I'll say it again. I am currently playing Tarkov because I want people who are going to come into the Tarkov category and they're gonna say, hey Hutch, should I buy this? And I wanna tell them, no, it is a scam. It is a complete scam. It is an absolute disgrace to their player base. And it's even more of a disgrace to the motherfuckers who were around even before me. The OGs in the community who- Hutch then proceeded to purchase the add-on anyway and then spent the rest of the stream playing Escape from Tarkov with the new add-on. The reality is he will sit there and completely run the game's name into the ground and tell people not to play it, but he is chained to his computer like a slave because rent is due next week. Less talking, more playing, Hutch. Rent's due, buddy. It sounds like you're mocking us. Like, too often to end in the EFT universe, we plan to add following new unique features to the EOD edition. I even feel like he's mocking us. Like, I'm I'm super sorry, Nikita, but it sounds like you're mocking us. Like, to honor the owners of the EOD versions who's whining like hell. I, I present you guys what you wanted because you guys are so whining. Like, it sounds like that. I'll, In I'll true, very bad scav fashion, his uh, sounds like and feels like uh, character came out and completely led the way on emotions and, uh, you know, made a whole bunch of assumptions about virtually everything and then um, said he was uninstalling the game and also did so, which I'll credit him for, unlike the other people I've spoken on so far. Um, the reality is, this guy's literal name of his channel is based on a character in the game. This guy's entire viewership is based on this game. If he thinks for one minute he will be able to survive and pay his rent playing some free-to-play cartoon game on Steam moving forward, then it sounds like and feels like to me he's going to be needing to start typing up a new resume because that's not going to pay the bills. Um, he will be back, he will reinstall the game because this game carries him in life even though he doesn't, you know, talk that way. The reality is his whole online persona is, is based on off this game. He's basically latched onto this game like a flea and then proceeded to carry himself and his entire livelihood off this game. But yet he will make assumptions and say it sounds like and feels like Nikita is doing this and doing that. Well, it sounds like and feels like to me that, that you're just a flea who's come along and just jumped on and enjoyed the ride. Very bad scav. Um... In a week, when you come back, maybe try being a little bit more respectful to the uh, the 
game that you've latched on to and, and, you know, that's paying your way in life. The whole thing. The best thing to do right now is literally just to not fucking play it. Um, obviously, I don't blame streamers that are going to continue streaming it. It is what it is. Don't fucking go and harass them, stuff like that. As I, I was, I'm away, I haven't had time to film any video or even read the comments until now. BSG have made a huge mistake here. I don't agree with what they've done. And if I knew everything at the time of filming this video, I would have said exactly that, which is pretty much what you see in this tweet. And then obviously me going live. So I'll wrap this up here. That's pretty much got you guys up to date with what's going on. Do I think BSG is going to revert this? Probably not. Do, do I think they're going to try and do some sort of damage control? Yes. Do I think Tarkov's going to die over this? Probably not. I th the one thing is, I think Tarkov is the only thing that can kill Tarkov, but at the same time, it's the best game for it, what it is. So until something can replace it, I don't think it's going to die. Am I going to boycott the game? I'll have a break. Like, it's not like me trying to have a massive stance against the game. I love the game. It's my favorite game. It's more just like, I, I just want to, I, I like to do things that make me happy. Right now, playing Tarkov would not make me happy. So... Um, it's more about me, the game not making me happy or, you know, streaming it would not make me happy. To be honest, I wouldn't even be bothered going live right now, even if I was home, just because I wouldn't want to have to, what you what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? What's your thoughts? Like, it's just too much. Um, but yeah, I'm a very happy person. I love my life and I'm very grateful for the opportunity and stuff that I've been blessed with. So thank you for anyone who's listened to this part of the video. I got to this point and I think that that concludes everything that keeps you guys up to date and also uh, to give you guys a better understanding of like why the previous video didn't call them out straight away. Um, and uh, at this point, if you've gotten to here and you still hate me, well, it is what it is. I don't really care. Anyway, much love. Um, stay safe. Take care. And uh, but still his response was somewhere in the realms of reality. He knows that this is just a, another typical hate wave from every content creator. Um, basically just a bunch of people who leech a living off a game who just sit in their chair all day and uh, stroke the players egos and just slam it and uh, critique it with the harshest opinions on the planet and also encourage people not to play it entirely um, he wasn't around when all this happened he made a very brief update and got completely slammed by the player base for it um, he had he had thousands of comments abusing him for not, you know, but when he did his video on the update, there was very little information. He didn't really know what he was reporting on. He was literally just reading it out, and that was his video. And he got slammed for it. And then he had to then make another video, and then you know basically stroke the player base's ego and say this is terrible, this is horrible. I can't believe. A broke game is asking for money and needs money to finish this game for us, you know. And then he basically says, look, is the game going to end? No. Is there any other game anywhere like it? No. You know, uh, pretty pretty good response from Pestilli. You know, he didn't really dive too deep into slandering the game that he's made a living off. Um, yeah, I... I don't really have much to say on Pestilli. He, he, you know, he's always kind of been like that. You know, he's always kind of been fairly neutral and um, in the realms of reality. Um, moving on. He's not wrong. People will forget, bro. This ain't the first time. I mean, like I said, though, bro, I'm not trying to discredit you guys at all, man. I agree with you, man. But it's it's hard to play the devil devil's advocate when I'm still playing the game, right? Like, you guys are always going to get mad at me regardless. But like I said, man. I think if you guys are in the position and you saw the amount of money I make streaming this game, I think you would understand a lot more. I but love once again, you. the average 9 to 5 will never understand that. They will never understand it. They'll just always hate it because of jealousy and stupidity, bro. If you're in my position, you would be doing the same shit as me. It's just how it is, bro. I got shit to buy. I got shit to do. I'm looking after people in my family. You know, I'm trying my best to provide for my family, bro. And if that makes you fucking mad, then I don't know what else to tell you, dude. <clears throat> Doesn't mean I don't agree with you though. I do, but don't get fucking mad at me, bro. Get mad at the fucking burger devs. Get mad at the fucking dumbass devs that made these shit decisions. <clears throat> when we get when we get down to the realness of everything when it comes to streaming chat, at the end of the day, streamers that will say things like, "Oh yeah, guys, I'm gonna boycott the game," I respect it. A lot of them are just under the pretense to do that to get you to be happy about the fact that you feel the same way as soon as the revenue starts to drain bro those guys will all come back to the game 
And that's just the sad reality of life, bro. Money makes the world go round, and that's just how it is, bro. I know that fucking might sound annoying, but it is. It's the truth. It is the fucking truth, man. And B chat, and BSG knows it, bro. BSG knows this shit. They know we'll be back to playing the game, bro. And they don't give a fuck. And that's just how it is, man. It fucking sucks, bro, but it is what it is. I, I don't know what else to say. I've always said that what I think's fair, and if you guys Can't decide to be mad at me, the then I respect sub -button. it. And this is a very surprising one from Tiggs. Um, yes, he did completely run the game into the ground. Uh, completely spoke absolute garbage on it. Spoke on it as if it was a piece of dirt he wouldn't even, you know, spit on. But, I mean, he did just call it how it is. And he did say, yes, I purchased the update. And yes, I'm going to play it because, yes, I have bills to pay. And yes, I'm supporting my family. Basically called it how it is, you know. Um... It is what it is, you know. The reality is, he's right. All these people will talk shit about the game, but the reality is, they will start their computer each day, and they will sit down and play it. That's just the reality, because there's no game like it, and it pays the bills. You know, this that's the crazy part. It's They're also willing to, you know, run it into the ground, but the reality is, They'll be here tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next day, or the next day. Lastly, I'm going to give my take, and, and I feel like there's no one out there currently saying this right now, even though there's a ton of proof to back this up, okay? BSG has gone completely broke. They're not making money. They are not making money. They're... 2021, they lost a million dollars. 2022, they... Made two million dollars. Twenty twenty three, they made nearly two million dollars. Then in twenty twenty four, they put on a massive. This is this is the kicker. This is the kicker. This is the part that really I can't wrap my head around. In twenty twenty four, at the start of the year, they spent three quarters of a million dollars putting on a massive event for Tarkov streamers. A massive TwitchCon event. They hired out an entire venue, okay? Then they said no to all of the players and said, no, streamers are going to play Arena first. It's streamers who we're going to give access to first. It's streamers who we're going to spend three quarters of a million dollars on and fly out to fucking the US. And it's streamers we're going to put all this effort into keeping happy and, and, and do, the, do the favor for, even though they also make a living off our game. And it's crazy because the streamers are the one now telling everyone don't play the game, you know. It's like they don't seem to forget the the effort that BSG puts in with these people. Like, But anyway, I'm verging off the point. 2024, they forked out, you know, three quarters of a million for TwitchCon, which was a streamer event. Then you also had the release of Arena, which which didn't do too well, which which definitely would have been a loss of money also. 2024 is definitely going to be a loss. And it's going to be a big one. So, the reality is, if they didn't announce something to recoup some kind of money this year, then the announcement would have been, basically, we're sorry guys, the game is cancelled, we're broke. We can't afford to finish this game. Sorry. Sorry you bought this game and we told you we would finish it, but we just can't. Servers will close tomorrow. Enjoy your last day playing. Goodbye. <laughs> it's like, uh, I feel like a lot of people are complaining and upset, but the reality is if they don't get money, then the game just... It, it doesn't exist. They, they, they stop making it. Because they can't make a game with no money. They can't magically... Everyone talks like, you know, the entire player base can just pay one one-off fee eight years ago and now they're just entitled to a lifetime's work from BSG. And, and BSG had that vision. That was their vision originally. But, you know, once things started costing money and... You know, they, they, they didn't foresee the cheating issue. They didn't foresee an entire group of people coming along and making single-player Tarkov out of their game and 
They didn't foresee all these issues and things that would cause problems for them. They didn't foresee all of that. They just have to work with what they've got. And at the moment, they're not... If, if, if... See, this is the thing. I would agree with everyone if they were making $100 million profit a year. I would completely agree with everyone. But the reality is they're barely breaking even. And it's all proven. It's all up in... It's all public information. They're barely breaking even each year. They're barely staying above the... Above the... Uh, <laughs> they're not making a, a lot of money. They're not... They're barely making any money. They're lucky if they make money on an average year. They need money. Like, they, they, they have to get it from somewhere. And unfortunately... At, they, they're gonna have to go back on things they've said they're gonna have to change things they're gonna they're gonna have to ask for more money and where else can they get it from you know they could sell the game off to someone else who would change it entirely they could cancel it or they could ask the player base there's a video that the financial report on Tarkov and in that video he suggests that instead of them making money from Cheaters' accounts, and cheaters pretty much owning the rights to the game. Wouldn't it be better if it was the players that were funding the game? You know, uh, they need to get this money from somewhere. It needs to come from somewhere. And the, another huge thing is you don't have to purchase the update. You don't have to buy it. You can still play the game. You can still play the game the same way you would have don't have to buy it. I don't understand why a, a, an update that is... You don't... It's just mind-blowing to me that BSG is saying, oh, hey, here's a single-player mode with some perks. If you want to, you can buy it. And that's what everyone's going to stomp their feet over and... and like... If you if you pull out a calculator, you've paid twenty dollars per year. To play this game. It's a game. It's not even finished. It's like I, I'm supposed to be someone who's brutal. Like I I get called the lowest of the low on this channel. I have the most harshest critiques on the planet. But the reality is, you're talking about a, a gaming company who's barely staying afloat, who's making a game that hundreds of thousands of people enjoy. Either buy the update or don't. But I don't think people should listen to streamers because the reality is 95% of these guys will be back playing the game within the next week. And they will just sit there and, and say whatever pays the bills. It's like Linmark, for example. You know, four months ago, he's at TwitchCon saying Tarkov is the greatest game on the planet. Now today, he's promoting some other garbage game that's basically stealing the entire concept and, and everything of Tarkov. In the intro of a video where he's then telling the Tarkov player base to uninstall the game. You know, if you listen to these guys, these guys just sit down at their computer and, and the goal is just to make a living. You know, if you enjoy this game... The reality is they need money. They they need money to make this game and finish it. And they're not making an awful lot. That's it's just the reality. They're not. They're they you know, what they're making isn't private, it's all public information. Uh there's videos, there's a Google search. Go have a look into it, honestly. They're not, they're not <laughs> they're broke. If you didn't see this coming, then Yeah. See me, I can just go off and play another game, and I'm fine. I, I can play DayZ, I can play PUBG, I can play Armor Reforged, I can, I can just go off and play other games, and that's what I do, and that's what makes me happy. And occasionally I return to Tarkov, and, and I feel like if people want to do that, do that also. But you won't see me starting a stream and, and you know, demanding, demanding everyone uninstall the game and running a game into the ground that I make my living from. I, I just find that insane. And the, the biggest insult that, the, is that the reason BSG is, is mostly in debt this year is because of the massive streamer event that they put on last year, or this, the start of this year. 
you know, apparently it cost them five, six hundred thousand dollars. That that would have been like a quarter of what they made in profit. That would have been like nearly half their profit. They just threw away on streamers. <laughs> For months later, it to be streamers saying, "Cancel the game. Don't play it." <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, that's pretty much the video. What it is. And facing the financial reality of a piece of art that you really adore kind of kills the art of it, in a way. Despite the cheeky sort of negative-seeming title, the very last thing that I want to do is kill Tarkov. We don't know exactly what the cost of development at BSG is, where those tens of millions of dollars go, nor should we, to be fair. Something I realized as I was writing this video, the gaming community is hyper-critical of Battlestate games. It's kind of sad, really. We all theoretically love this game, and yet we tear apart every single decision that they make. We look at every aspect of their development under a microscope. I'm not sure if other communities treat their favorite games devs that way, but to be honest, I really don't like the idea of being part of that. To very quickly touch on the cost, though, think about this one metric. Tarkov is running 5,000 or more servers, according to Nikita. For a minimum of $100 to $300 a month per server, that's anywhere from 6 to as high as 18 to $30 million a year alone. The main concern I had, remember, is that Tarkov's cost of sales went up drastically in 2023, and the sales themselves didn't compensate. We need to touch on those 900,000 new accounts purchased in 2022. I've never given much thought to the idea of cheaters rebuying accounts as a legitimate major source of Tarkov's funding. Seeing that metric was the first time that I had to face it head on. If the concern is that cheaters are funding the game, something that, regardless of how things look, can never be officially proven, we know that anti-cheat is a constant concern of the legit player base, something that we all want to get better. But would not placing the spending power back in the hands of the dedicated, legitimate fanbase through microtransactions in whatever form potentially reduce the power that these cheap providers hold in general over BSG, even if it means BSG going back on their word, which is the lesser of two evils? I'll let you decide, but I think the choice is obvious.